guys how you guys doing welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tina, and I'm back with another video before I go ahead and continue with this video if you're new to my channel and you just see me for the first time my name is Tina. I'm a lover of fragrance beauty and lifestyle if that's the type of content that you do like please consider subscribing after you watch this video and if you're watching this video and you're already liking it give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. It helps my channel get seen. It helps people that are looking for this content to click on it. If you guys want to see my top most loved fragrances from Latafa that I recommend to you guys, then please keep on watching. Today I'm going to be letting you guys know my top Latafa fragrances in my collection. I have about 40 of Latafa fragrances and these are the best that I've tried so far. These are the top of the line if you're looking to dive into Latafa fragrances. So these are from my people that have requested this type of video. I actually put a poll on my channel and you guys put this as your number one video that you want to watch. So that's why I created this video. So we are going to start in no particular order. I want to start with the newest release and this is Sir by Latafa. This I'm telling you is my fragrance of the day. This fragrance is an almond, nutty, gourmand, oudy kind of fragrance. So if you're not a fan of oud, this is not the fragrance for you. It has Akigala wood. Akigala wood kind of resembles oud in a way. It kind of rivals argar wood. So, but I love Akigala wood because it's not so potent like agar wood. Agar wood can kind of turn people off and this one is so pleasant that it doesn't really feel masculine in any way. This fragrance is a gourmand fragrance. It is very delicious, it's very sweet. It has some spices of cinnamon that kind of gives it a spicy touch. It has some jasmine. I don't get the jasmine as much. I mainly get the almond nuttiness of the fragrance and I get the tonka bean and some of the vanilla at the base. This fragrance, oh my God, when it comes to projection and sillage, it is amazing. I remember when I got this and I really felt like it wasn't projecting, but I just let it sit a little bit and I kept wearing it. And I absolutely adore this fragrance. This fragrance is beautiful. It is something that I feel like you could wear in the summer or fall. I feel like more of like the tail end of summer. And I was wrong. When I told you guys about this fragrance, I told you guys that this is like a winter fall fragrance but to me this is a year-round fragrance I feel like you could wear this in the fall you can wear this in the winter you can wear this in summer and spring this fragrance is not too much it's not too strong it's not overwhelming I feel like anybody that smells it will not be turned off by it they might want to sniff you all over and you know lick you up like a frosting on a cake that's how this fragrance is. It is so beautiful. I absolutely adore it and I recommend it if you're looking for something almondy that is a little sweet and a little spicy at the same time and a little vanilla. This is amazing. Again, this is Latafa's Sir. The next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is Teriyak. Teriyak is one of the best, I believe the best fragrances I've ever gotten from Latafa. This is by no means a, a dupe to anything, and so was Sir. Sir is not a dupe to anything, but people have said that this is closest to La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't understand, and I do understand. I have the La Belle and the La Belle Intense. So I do kind of get where people are getting that from, especially since it has that letter, the vetiver in there. And I think there's something else that they share, probably a vanilla. That's pretty much it that is actually similar. This is more of an apricot, rhubarb, caramel, almond scent. Very beautiful, very sexy, very decadent, very delicious. It is just something that I feel like I wanna drink. It feels very comforting. I feel like you can wear this year round. It can get a little heavy for a springtime, 
but let me tell you, you could wear this at nighttime for date night. It is a perfect fragrance for if you're going for Thanksgiving. I feel like this will be very popular during Thanksgiving because of that apricot, you know, and that honey note that's in there. It kind of gives you something sweet, something baked. It smells like a dessert. That's where I'm leading with. So I absolutely love this. If you're looking for something that is dessert-like, that is not gonna break a bank, I also think this kind of smells like La Capitale by Zerjoff. I feel like it does kind of smell similar, except that there is nothing really dark. I think there is oud in that fragrance, I'm not sure. So Terriac is amazeballs. If you guys are looking for a beautiful gourmand fragrance, for the summer slash fall slash winter. I feel like it'd work. I mean, wear any fragrance anytime you want. Like you guys know, I really don't shy away from fragrances. I wear anything I want, any season. But there are some people that like grouping their fragrances based on season, winter, fall, and whatnot. But I can wear this year round and can nobody tell me any better. I love this and I adore it. I feel like it's one of the standout fragrances for the year 2024. And I feel like Latafa did the damn with this fragrance. So I really recommend it, I love it. Again, this is Latafa's Teriyak. And by the way guys, if you have not already left your fragrance of the day, you guys know the Dilio. Leave your fragrance of the day. I really wanna know what you're smelling like. I really wanna know what you're rocking. Cause you guys know I love scents and if there's something that you guys mention that I check out and I like the notes, I tend to actually get the fragrance. So leave it down below. Let me know what you guys are loving right now. And let me know if you guys love any of these selections from the top 10 or top 11. Now, if you guys hear me sniffling, I am getting over a cold or actually a cold is starting right now. So I am feeling a little sniffly. I've been sneezing a lot. So I sound really hoarse in my opinion. So please, please, please bear with me. I'm trying my best because I really wanna film this even though I'm not feeling well. The next fragrance is Affection. And if you guys don't know, Affection is a dupe to the Kayali's Young Pistachio Gelato. I have a video dedicated to this, comparing the two, talking a little bit more about it. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. But let me tell you guys, this is a pistachio hazelnut. It is raspberry, it has some jasmine to it, some lily of the valley, some tonka bean, and some vanilla. Now this fragrance is very latonic, very nutty. It's a little, little sweet, very, very beautiful. There is not too much florals that I get except for the jasmine. I don't get the lily of the valley. It feels like I went to a famous Italian ice cream shoppy and I wanted a pistachio gelato ice cream. That's what this fragrance feels like. It's amazing, it's gourmand, it is long lasting. When you let this sit, you will reap the benefits of this fragrance. People have complained that it don't last, it don't last, it's a lie, it lasts. And it lasts way much better than the Kiali version. I've worn this so many times. I've gotten so many compliments. People have been like chasing me down. Like, what are you wearing? What fragrance is that? It smells amazing. And lo and behold, it's this. And I've had a person thought that I was wearing Kiali Young Pistachio Gelato and they didn't know I had this fragrance on. And I was like, yeah, this is not Kiali. I do have that fragrance, but I have affection on not the Kayali version. This is a beautiful scent. I absolutely adore it. One of my top, top favorites. And these favorites I'm letting you guys know about are the most complimented. I'm not just picking anything. I'm picking the ones that I've gotten compliments from people. People have been like stopping me on the street, asking me, what fragrance are you wearing? And these are the fragrances that have gotten those reactions. So again, I love this and I recommend it if you guys are looking for something pistachio, little nutty, little ice cream kind of touch, this is Affection from Latafa. Now this is another Latafa fragrance that was released this year. And this fragrance was released because people were asking for uh, Bianco Latte dupe. And this fragrance uh, 
hit the nail on the head. This is no other than Eclair. Eclair is a caramel, latonic, sugary, honey goodness with loads of vanilla, some praline, some mocks, some flowers in there. But let me tell you, I really don't get too much of the flowers. I just get a milk chocolate dipped in honey with ugh, some toffee in there. It is just absolutely gourmand, sweet, delicious. I've told you guys before that this fragrance reminds me of a caramel macchiato frappe, the ones that I get from McDonald's. That's what this fragrance reminds me of. It is sweet, it is long lasting. The only thing is that it is similar to Bianco Latte, but it's a, a watered down version, but it lasts. Even though it is not as thick as Bianco Latte, it still has that lasting power. So if you feel like Bianco Latte was too much for you, this will be the best version that you ever got your hands on. You will like this better because you're not gonna kill somebody. When I wore Bianco Latte, I got different, different compliments. I got compliments that were negative and compliments that were really positive. But this one got me loads of positive compliments. People really love this. Some people are just into that sweet, gourmand kind of feel. And when I spray this, I tend to turn heads. People that walk by me turn their head and say, oh, you smell really good. What are you wearing? Tell me, what is that? You know, I've had people who had to like get a pen and write down what I told them because of this fragrance. I'm telling you, it, it's amazing. And if you haven't got your hands on it, I don't know what you're doing with your life. If you want that Bianco Latte dupe and you don't want to shell out that coin and you want something similar, go ahead and get yourself Eclair. You will not be disappointed. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it so much. Again, this is Eclair. Next fragrance is Musa Mam White Intense. Now this fragrance, it's a little bit on the tropical side. I feel it's because of the coconut in here. It is very, very, very tropical. It has some bergamot, some spices, some orange, ylang ylang, that's a tropical note, and you get in some sandalwood, some mucks, and some benzoin. Now this fragrance is for the classy chicks, people that are going somewhere in life, people that are in the office that want to smell sexy without being too overwhelming. This fragrance can go from day to nighttime. I feel like you could wear it on a date night, and I feel like it's something more of an everyday wear. There is not a season or a moment for this fragrance. It is amazing. I'm not 100% sure what this is duping. I saw on Fragrantica that this is duping Gris Chanel. To me, they can be sisters, but I don't think it's 100% dupe. I think it's a little sweeter, and the original Gris Chanel is a little bit more masculine. This is more feminine in my opinion, and there's a prominent fig note that's in that Gris Chanel and I don't get that fig note here. So this is kind of like a cousin to Gris Chanel, but I feel like this is more of a standalone fragrance. I don't think they were trying to really dupe anything, but another person did say that it's similar to Santa Vanille by Seven Virtuals, and I don't see that either. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's very clean, it's very fresh. It is very woody, citrus, warm, spicy, and it's a little bit, of musk in there so there is mux in here but it's very musky i don't see this fragrance as a gris chanel dupe in my opinion but let me tell you this fragrance has great projection the projection is more than arm's length and the sillage it is forever this will sneak up on you so you will smell it for at least maybe six, seven hours, and then you will not smell it, but everyone else will smell you and they will give you compliments. They will say, oh my God, you smell amazing. You smell decadent, you smell gorgeous. And let me tell you, the compliments on this are endless. And everyone is sleeping on this fragrance. I don't understand why. It is amazing. It is something that is not talked about the most and I love it. <laughs> Again, this is Musaman White Intense. This next fragrance I haven't talked about in a while. This is Ajab Dubai Portrait. 
this fragrance is a very fruity tropical citrus sweet woody powdery fragrance with slight bit of musk but when i tell you this fragrance is everything that you want in a jar in a bottle it is amazing it has citrus notes of orange and some lemon oh my god then you got that mango note that mango note in here is amazing then you got some agar wood which gives this fragrance its woodiness its beautifulness and the sandalwood and musk and amber come to play they don't come to play games they come to play with you and leave that gorgeous scent on your skin i think it's a dupe to the uh mango kiss by the stefan humbert lucas i think so this is from what i heard it's it, it's a dead on dupe um pretty much the only difference is that there was a coconut note and a fig note in the Stefan Umbert Lucas and there is none in the Latafer. But other than that, this is really similar. It is gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's a little bitey at the same time. This mango in here is a little more ripe. It's not rotten, it's ripe enough. It's a beautiful scent that will turn heads. Like this one, I think I got the most compliments from. Out of all my fragrances, everybody can't get enough of this they love it so much and you know this fragrance is very unique um, i believe it's unique because it's duping a niche fragrance so people are not used to this scent and when they smell it they're like obviously asking questions like where do you get it what is this fragrance what not you know this is one of the best compliment getters in my cup this is one of the most compliment getter fragrance from the topper in my collection and i absolutely adore it the projection on this is infinity to beyond the siage is the same and <laughs> i'm telling you the longevity is ridiculous it will last for 14 hours or more on skin that's how good this fragrance is it is beast mode you might have to scrub this fragrance off to get the scent off of you it's so strong so again if you're looking for a great mango scent i got one here for you this is ajayab dubai portrait now i could not do a top 10 latafa without mentioning this fragrance it's just not possible for me to do that this is camera the og by latafa and if you guys don't already know this is duping the killian's angel share perfume and I have that, and let me tell you, it is a 90 to 95% dupe. Oh my God, this has even got more rich, more darker, more thick, more sexy. That cinnamon, it is present for life. There is Akigala wood in this one. It's also kind of similar to Argo wood. And then you get some myrrh, some benzoin. The date note in here is what transforms this fragrance. This fragrance, in my opinion, is better than the Killian's Angel Share. It is more thick, more um, complex. It's not linear. Um, it's a little bit citrusy, in my opinion. There is probably a bergamot on the top note, and you get tons of praline, some tuberose, and you're getting tonka bean, vanilla, akigala wood, and benzoin. OMG, guys. This is a phenomenal fragrance. And I feel like as it sits even longer, it gets even much better. Uh, people really love this fragrance. This is one of the top sellers for La Tafa. Camera is number one before anything else. And when this fragrance came out, Everybody in their mama was on it like Donkey Kong. And now we're on to the next. But you can't say the Latafa's camera is not good. It's amazing. It is a standout. It is 10 out of 10. There is no other that can replace it. Out of all the flankers for Angel Share, this is the number one, the best <laughs> that I've ever tried. Okay? And I love it. I recommend it if you're looking for it something similar to Adrian Share and you can't afford it. This will be the best replacement for you. Again, this is Camera. The next fragrance is Amel Al Oud. This fragrance 
so underrated. People have diminished the goodness of this fragrance. They say they hate it. And let me tell you something, I love it. It is very similar to By The Fireplace, but this I believe is replacing my By The Fireplace. I'm probably gonna declutter that because this is what I was looking for in the fireplace that I didn't get. This is a very sugary, woody, woody, very woody fragrance with some a lot with a lot of sandalwood. It has a lot of sandalwood. It has some vanilla, some woody notes. Let me tell you, this is the best vanillic agarwood scent. The agarwood in here is not super strong. It's there, but it's not overwhelming. It is beautiful. It kind of meshes with the fragrance. You get that firewood burning smell, but you also get something sweet because of that sugar note. Oh my God. This is what I was praying for the replica version to smell like, and it just did not smell like that. So that's why I'm going to keep this and declutter that because let me tell you, this is a beautiful fragrance. I don't care what anyone says. It is super long lasting, super on the sillage and longevity. This is a great fall to winter scent. If you're looking for something for fall or winter, you will enjoy this. It's very, very, you know, inviting. I feel like anyone that smells this on me is like, oh my God, what is that? This is amazing. This is beautiful. That's what everyone says when I wear this. It is sexy at the same time. It is that type of clubbing fragrance that I feel like will spread and project to everybody and people will be able to smell you. I love it. I really, really enjoy it. Again, this is Amer Al Oud Intense Oud. The next fragrance is called Al Nashama. Now, this fragrance is the one that's a dupe to the initial Paragon fragrance. Now, this fragrance is a little citrusy. It is a little woody. It's a little fruity. A little bit of white florals in here, and then you get some uh, patchouli. Now, if you don't like patchouli, you're not going to like this fragrance. It is not heavy patchouli, but you definitely get the patchouli in this fragrance. It has some bergamots, it has some plum, some pink pepper, some jasmine in here, and then you get some leather and then you get that patchouli with the amber. I don't like the spray on this fragrance, it's ridiculous. Do you see how it sprays? It sprays like a like a spritz. It, it sprays really too much. Let me tell you, this is a really great scent. There is a distinct black pepper note to this fragrance. Um, very, very spicy, kind of gives it a spicy kick. It is a great, I would say, summer leaning to fall fragrance, even winter. I feel like this fragrance has not been one of the fragrances that people talk about and I, I don't know why, because it's amazing, it's stunning. It is just a freshy that is uh, fruity at the same time and with some, it's kind of like a spicy, fresh, spicy floral fragrance. And it is a little bit aromatic, it's a little bit of woodiness in there, oh my God. The aromatic vibes in this fragrance, if you're not a fan of aromatics fragrances, you are not gonna like this. The amber in here is divine. Oh, I love this. This one is another fragrance that is really long lasting, that projects, that leaves you a great sillage. I'm telling you, you will get compliments when you wear this. You will get compliments. Nobody will like walk by you and not ask you what you're wearing. People are gonna like wonder, what is the beautiful scent that's coming out of your skin? Yeah, and I love it. I really, really recommend it if you're looking for an aromatic kind of fragrance from Latafa. Again, this is Al Nashama. And that completes the video. If you guys enjoy this video and you like the, the choices that I picked or you've tried any of these, let me know down below. Let me know how much you like the video. And if you're new to this channel, you watch this video to the end, what are you waiting for? The subscribe button is down below. It's waiting for you to click it and leave me a comment down below. Drop me your fragrance of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in another video. Bye.